It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm just about to head out now. I've just been getting ready. The other day I was given an email from a lecturer who does, I think it's the head of teaching at this University of Hertfordshire, who saw my videos, was interested, and now I am heading off to a lecture in front of first year students who are training to be primary school teachers. Uh, I don't know how many there's going to be there, I think there's going to be quite a few, and I'm basically doing a 10 to 15 minute lecture about my videos. So um, it sounds like everything's really kicking off, so let's see how it goes. I'm certainly going to. I'm going to have to ask everyone for permission for uh, having them in the video. And if you look just behind me, we've got my YouTube thing on the front page. Right, can I have a picture of you and take a picture of them? You, you want a picture of me? This is all being used. I guess I'm going to start now. I've done a few notes, and that's about it. So it should be very interesting. So, welcome to um, Unit 7. Believe it or not, today's uh, lecture, as you know, is called Observing Children. Um, I've sent you all an email, so I think you know there's been a slight change to the program. And you all um, hopefully have known that I've managed to track down Miles Dyer, who I showed you the blog of, that's the right kind of, uh, Miles Dyer's <laughs> blog and his page on YouTube, when we were doing our blogging workshop last week. So having actually found Miles, I invited him this morning to come along and just talk to you for 10 or 15 minutes before I actually start the lecture on his blogs and a little bit about why he blogs and, um, well, I think I'll just leave it there really and right. hand over to Miles. So, thank you. How's it going people? Don't be intimidated by the camera. Uh, first of all, does anyone have any objections to being on the video? Because I'm going to do it as my next vlog. So put up your hand now if you've got an objection. Good. <laughs> uh, has everyone used YouTube before? Yeah. Does anyone have any accounts? Show of hands. Right, awesome. So I do vlogging, which is usually standing here with a camera. Um, a lot of you know, um, a lot of people thinking what the hell's going on right now, because I'm just standing here talking to a camera now, but this is what I normally do. Um, a year ago, I wouldn't have the confidence to just stand here and talk to a camera like this in a group, you know, in front of people and that. I've never done a lecture like this, um, and so I'm using my skills, I guess, from doing videos to talk into a large group of people. Now, I'd like this recorded, so is anyone willing to be a cameraman or a camerawoman for just the next 10 minutes? Yeah? Is that right? Awesome. If I leave that there, all you need to do is hold it very still. No pressure or anything. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do vlogging on YouTube. Um, I've done it for uh, just over a year now. Um, how it's got to where I am today, I... It's very, very strange because I don't know if any of you know Geriatrics 1927. He was on the news a year ago. He was an 80 year old man who did vlogging, and everyone was like, This is quite strange. But, you know, they, he got worldwide publicity. Uh, people did video responses in which they can respond with video for those of you who don't know. And you can say, you know, a response um, in video form. And it, I saw someone's video response and I thought, you know, I'd like to have a voice, so I cut my video. And could you just pan the camera? <laughs> I need Sorry, to turn it. Can I turn it? That is oh, me, because you're yeah, a student. Is, you can turn that. Yeah, it's yeah. easier for me to do it like That's this. That's good. <laughs> um, and so I voiced my opinion, and people said, I like what you have to say. There's about two people, but that's enough for me. Um, so I did videos every day. I started off doing really random stuff. Um, I won't get into it right now. Stupid stuff. Um, I did one of the first videos I did was does anyone know Jeremy Cull, the Jeremy Cull show? Uh, I did the Jeremy Cull drinking game where you drink every time he says a catchphrase. Um, <laughs> and when I went up there to be in the audience, he actually came out and interviewed me in front of everyone about it. And that was when it first hit me like, wow, people do watch this. And um, it was really, really strange. Um, so, what do I get out of it? Well, I've met a lot of great people um, off it. I mean, People slag off the internet thinking it's uh, an insecure form of communication in which uh, it's just for paedophiles and people who aren't who they say they are. But in fact, it's just the way the media does it. The media is threatened by it because you have 
uh, newspapers and TV and, you know, what's the competition? YouTube. It's an honest form in which people can uh, just express themselves as... I say there's no censorship. I mean, there is, you know, you've got to pepper what you say or else if it doesn't adhere to the terms and conditions, then they can remove it. But on the whole, uh, you do have exposure, um, and I definitely have. Um, in the past year, I've had over one and a half million views. Uh, which is a lot, but I know for a lot of other people they've got a lot more. Um, I've done over 200 videos, and uh, it's just, I'm just trying to think how to put it. It's just the fact that when you do videos like this, you, you, you're just chatting to a camera, you don't know who's on the other end, and when you express yourself to the camera, um, you just let out emotion and you're just honest with it, because you've got no one interrupting your conversation, you've got no one questioning what you're doing. And when you put the video up there, it's too late, you know, it's, it's up there now. And uh, I've done videos in the past which have caused controversy, um, and it's got a lot of people hate me, but you just learn in life that um, there was a quote, um, you can please some people some of the time, but you can't please all people all of the time. And I think that's very, very true. Um, so what can you get out of it? I mean, why is this relevant for today? I mean, I try to come up with a few points, hopefully they're valid. Um, communication skills. As I said, I've never done a lecture before. I never think of even doing anything like this. I did public speaking at my secondary school about two years ago, and I was rubbish at it. I am out all the time. Um, and I think with communication skills, when you do a video, sure, you can edit it. I mean, if you, I mean, you just cut those bits out. But if you just, well, over time, you're gonna start trying more and more stuff, and you find that you do become more fluent, you're trying to thought becomes a lot better, and uh, you can make coherent discussions, which I used to not be able to do at all. Um, I hope I can do that. Um, <coughs> it's also like, gives you a chance to sort of find out who you are. Um, I, when you watch yourself on video, yes, I do watch myself on video, it's not me admiring myself, it's looking back and going, what could I have done better? Uh, self evaluation, and also when I see video responses of people, you know. Um, I learn something from watching my stuff and how people respond, and I also learn stuff from what other people think. Um, and with a community like YouTube, a lot of people don't like to admit there is a community, but there is. There are people out there, okay, it's all on the internet, but we do meet up. I mean, I've done YouTube gatherings. Um, I recently organised one in central London. Um, I should make a final clip. Is there sound on this? I think so. Let's find out. Yeah, it sounds like it. Uh, this was it, and I organised it two weeks ago. I'm going to start talking in this going to lay out there again. I'm at Leicester Square in the London Gathering, and uh, as you can see, there's this guy oh. here recording, <laughs> and someone is shouting out of the way, and then a bit of laughing. But if you turn around, who's here? And uh, that was like the end result, and if you go down here, there's 91 video responses of people who have posted their stories of what happened that day. Um, and I, I've met a lot of cool people. I've met over 600 people through the internet, through these YouTube gatherings. Like I went to New York, I did a tour of the States, where I spent a week in LA. I stayed with someone who watched my videos, and he said, I'll pick you up from the airport, and I was like, sure. Uh, I know, it's strange. And uh, then I did it in San Francisco, someone who watched my videos. And then I did um, a couple of days in New York, where there was a New York gathering. Um, and just, I met 600 people and I've not made one enemy. I mean, there are people that you may disagree with, but it's only disagreement with opinions. Um, and something that we can all come to a conclusion with is you can agree to disagree with people. And with that, you can progress with your ideas. Um, and that goes on to my next point, which is the distribution of ideas. Um, you can discuss things, you, you learn things, you learn that we don't all agree on the same thing in life. Um, if it's religion, if it's um, just philosophies or you know, what, you know, particular ideas in general. And from discussing it, you find that you have a group of people that you can appeal to. And if you stick at it and hold on closely to those people that watch your videos, you know, if I have one person watching my video, which is what it started off with, and uh, that one person appreciates what I've had to say, I've had an effect on one person. Um, I'm just lucky now that every time I do a video, it gets five, six thousand views in 24 hours. And uh, it's just crazy. 
And uh, a lot of people use YouTube to do stupid stuff, like watching some fall down the stairs, perhaps. Um, not that I watch that sort of stuff. Uh, but I do more, um, I say there's a bit more credibility for, with what I do and what other people do of a similar status because there's a point to it. And uh, although it doesn't get the most views, uh, it gets quality of views. It's people who will watch it and get something from it. And when I was at a YouTube gathering, there was this girl who met with me. She goes, I'll send you an email. Uh, and I was like, what? I said, she gave me her username. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, I'm not so sure. And then she explained the issue. Uh, and she was someone who was going through depression, she was on the edge, and uh, she sent me an email and she goes, I know you don't know me, and I said, well, yeah, I don't know you, um, but here's some ideas of what you can do. I said, but because I don't know the whole situation, I can't do anything. And she met with me, her life's going up now, and just from taking the time, a couple of minutes, to reply to someone, I've helped someone, and for me, that's not... Um, Arrogance, like preaching about stuff like this, it's me. And I've talked about this in my latest video because um, I'm in a bit of a dilemma with what am I doing? Is it arrogance? Is it just priding myself to a, a great extent of that? But in fact, maybe this is the fact that I'm doing something good, and because I'm acknowledging that, I want to do it more. I want to reach out to more people. I want to um, help more people. So, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. I'm just going to ask if you've got any questions. Question. <laughs> Question. Okay, I just wondered if you'd give everybody some um, ideas, and if they wanted, they're sitting there thinking, oh, it's okay for you, Miles, you obviously know what you're doing, but perhaps some people here are thinking they'd like to make a blog. Can you give them some guidance, or actually point them in the direction of one of your blogs that could help them? Uh, sure. Well, I mean, I'll show you my very first video, which is, shows what I used to be like. Anyone has any suggestions to get back to me? 